Folks, Chef Jesse here, back in the kitchen. Anyway, today we are making uh, I'm making a chicken sandwich, like a uh, like the stuff like the stuff they sell in uh, Chick Fil A. I don't support Chick Fil A. I got my reasons, but similar to what they do in Popeyes, actually. Remember the whole big Waluma, that whole big fiasco, people fighting in lines and stuff for chicken. Well, well, you can do it at home. It tastes. You could probably do it better, right? I know I do it better. But anyway, I am going to try to imitate, not imitate, I'm just going to try to do the same style of chicken. I never say imitate because it's my own recipe, okay? So this is the recipe that I've been digging up and tweaked it and everything, and I'm going to do it my way. And if it come, whatever way it comes out, that's Chef Jesse's way of making the, the Popeye's version of crispy chicken on a bun with lettuce and a Cute, uh, what is it a pickle and whatever sauce I don't know but anyway you're gonna watch me do it so stay tuned right after this commercial we're gonna come back and we're gonna start doing it okay folks so what I did was I used a half a cup of uh, milk and a quarter cup of water and I put two eggs in it and I whipped it up okay so this is gonna be my wet uh, you know it looks like when you're making French toast this is gonna be my wet uh, Topping, whatever you want to call it, and then I have about a cup of uh, all-purpose flour, okay, all-purpose flour, and into this flour I'm going to be adding the ingredients, okay. So you got to watch carefully, okay. So let's tune this down here. Uh, can you see that there? Okay, you can see that. Okay. So I, I swift the uh, swift it or whatever you want to call it, get the lumps out of that that flour, okay. So now we're going to be putting in some, uh, just for a little kick, we're going to be putting in some uh, some some white pepper, okay. A little bit about half a, half, about a tablespoon or half of white pepper. Okay, there you go. White pepper it is. Okay. Now we're going to put some paprika. I don't usually use paprika, but we're going to use paprika today. So we're going to do about a tablespoon of paprika. Whatever I suppose on the side doesn't matter. Okay, there you go. Yeah, we'll get it some more. Paprika gives, I don't know, I never find a taste of paprika. But they say it gives flavor. I'm gonna put some chili powder in the reason I'm gonna give some chili powder because I want it to get a little bit of a kick, okay? Uh, so I don't want to put too much, but maybe like a half a quarter of a teaspoon of uh, of chili powder. This is just to give it a little bit of kick. Uh, you might not even feel it, I don't know. So we're gonna whip this up, okay? And uh, okay, whip this up in like this, make sure it's all whipped up in there real good. And then we're gonna put some salt in there. Of course, we gotta put some salt in there, right? So let me get the salt. And uh, I'm gonna put about a tablespoon of salt. Okay, this is a, this is a teaspoon. So we're gonna put one of these and one of these. Okay, so go. there you go. Now you got the salt. Okay, you got the salt. You got the white pepper, white ground pepper. Okay. You got, I got some chili powder in there just to give it a little bit of a kick and some paprika. This is just to give flavor to the, the you know, the batter. Okay. So now I'm gonna be putting in some some cornstarch. Cornstarch is very good. I'm telling you. So I'm gonna be putting about a tablespoon, uh, teaspoon, or well, one teaspoon, two teaspoons of cornstarch. Cornstarch adds crispiness to the flour. When you get in there. I'm telling you, it works. Okay. So what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be double dipping, double dipping. I'm going to be putting my chicken into this uh, milk egg solution. I'm going to put it into the flour. Then I'm going to put it back into the egg solution and back into the flour. Like, you know, dip, dip, double dipping. And this is going to give it the flavor. And hopefully the cornstarch will give it the nice fluffiness. And, you know, it'll be good. So stay tuned. Okay, folks. Now we're ready to dip the chicken in. Okay. And... I have a, only a couple pieces of chicken. I'm not doing a lot of chicken here, but this I'm gonna dip it in the uh, in the solution over here. Let's let's move this so you can see everything. In this egg wash solution, okay, and um, then I'm going to take it. I am going to uh, hear this. Actually, I there we go. Okay, so there we go. So what I want to do? I want to dip it in there and make sure that it is. It is covered with this flour, okay? Make sure every corner, nook and cranny is covered up, okay? So now you take it, put it back in the egg wash, like that. It's kind of messy, but it's good at the end, folks. Now, back into the flour, okay? And this should be enough, and it should adhere to it now. 
and it should come out nice and crunchy and well we'll see this is the first time I'm doing this I think well, I've done it before but I mean this is like the first time I'm, so we're doing this imitation Popeye's chicken or Chick-fil-a I hate mentioning Chick-fil-a I'm not gonna mention Chick-fil-a no more on this program and the reason why I'm gonna tell you why yeah I usually don't care what people say and you know I just I'm not a big but Chick-fil-a the owners of Chick-fil-a uh, donate millions and millions of dollars a year to uh, to organizations that are anti uh, anti-gay and you know and other things so so um, look into it I'm not making this up so I just don't I will not support a company that has that kind of hatred you know everyone has an opinion everybody has an opinion of whatever they want to you know what to believe in but you know a company that donates millions and millions of dollars while there's people in this earth dying of hunger in, in this country in other countries and you can't support you can't uh, support people who are hungry and are homeless and all that other stuff but yet you can donate millions of dollars to organizations that are homophobic uh, I don't go for that, okay? I do not go for that. I am Uncle Jesse. I'm a, I mean, I'm a, you know, nice guy, joke and everything. But when it, when the, you know, when stuff like this is serious, you know, we have a big problem in America where people are homeless. Uh, people go to bed every day, you know, in this country, hungry, and you over here hating people for what they are, who they are, and you know all that stuff. So I, I just that, that's my perspective of seeing things I mean I know probably people will see it differently I know I'm gonna get feedback for this and I really don't care I just don't support uh, Chick-fil-a so there goes my reason and uh, that's that's my reason that's it you know I just I'm sorry if I offend anybody it's just one of those things that I just cannot find it in my heart to support Chick-fil-a and let me tell you something it's not the biggest thing in the world it's just overrated. These these fast food places come come around and they get overrated and people get excited about them and people, you know, and they swear by them and people are, you know, like uh it's like a religion. They're like fanatics and oh fridge fridge Chick-fil-A, Chick-fil-A and you know. Hey, it's not that serious, okay? It's not that serious. It really is not. I'm telling you, it's not that serious. So and again, you might you might you know, you have a right to your opinion and uh I have a right to mine, right? So, and I usually don't get into like stuff like this. I'm usually I don't get into politics. You always, you know, I never get into politics. Um, you know, I don't get into these big arguments about stuff. But once in a while, I, you know, when I'm right, well, I, I, I'm saying that I'm right. But when uh, when I think that I, 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 something that I believe in, I will stand by it. Okay, that's that's what I want, to, and that's what I meant to say. When I believe in something, I stand by it. So I stand by my ideas, and. Uh, you know, I think that this country needs uh, people who are rich and millionaire. You know, you made your money in this country. You should, you should buy, you should give something back to the community. That's just me. You know, when I make it big and someday, hopefully, right, God willing, I will give. I would definitely give back to, to donations. I mean, I'm telling you. You know, people are gonna say, "Oh, everybody says the same thing." No, it doesn't. I, you know, I, 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 I always remember where I came from. You know. Born and raised in a, in a typical neighborhood in Chelsea, and born and raised in the projects, and uh, I re I will always remember where I came from, you know. Believe me that, I'm telling you that from the bottom of my heart. I'm in serious note right now, and I will always remember where I came from, and that's just me. So here we go. Uh, so I gave you a little bit of a lecture there, right? <laughs> so anyway, uh, I double dipped it, and now I'm gonna. Just put some more flour in it, and okay. And what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna put it in the fridge. I'm gonna chill it for a couple minutes, maybe ten minutes or so. I'm gonna chill it while I get my cast iron skillet ready, and then I'm gonna get, I'm gonna fry, deep fry these things. Okay, now this is a mess. This is why I hate working with uh, with flour. But anyway, we'll be right back. So folks, now I'm warming up my cask iron skillet, which is my one of my favorite skillets to, to uh, cook in, and I'm gonna deep fry this because this has to be fried. You can do this in the in the uh, you can do this in your air fryer. I'm pretty sure because I've looked it up and you could do it in the air fryer, but I need to have that little crunch. And, and and I don't know. I just I'm gonna fry this as best as possible. I'm gonna make sure that the 
the oil is hot as much as possible before burning so when I throw in my chicken in there it will cook it and it will not you know suck up all the oil and stuff like that so I'm gonna make this as hot as possible drop in my chicken fry it very quick and crispy and then I'm gonna be doing some french fries I'm gonna be putting this into a a uh, a, a roll with lettuce and some pickles just like they do in in Popeyes so stay tuned and we'll be cooking this in a few minutes so watch so folks my oil is hot very very hot so as soon as I drop this chicken in it should start to fry and it won't give it any chance to to suck up any oil so let's hear it just hear the there you go look at that it's frying immediately so yeah so what I'm gonna do, I just dropped one piece in there. I'm not gonna drop any more than one piece because I don't want the temperature of the oil dropping. So I'm dropping one piece in there. I'm gonna wait for that to, f to start to fry halfway and then I'll drop the second piece. This way my temperature and the oil will not drop, okay? And that's the trick to this. So I want this oil as hot as possible. So and, and quickly, um, and the, the chicken fillets I use, the chicken, uh, the, the, you know, the bone of chicken, I hammered them down with a meat tenderizer like this. So, not, they should be thin enough that it should be able to cook real quick so stay tuned because you're gonna see now look how this chicken is frying you can see the crispiness already okay and I'm gonna flip it around and you can see the crispiness look at this oh man yeah um, this one I'm gonna this one's a little bit bigger so I'm gonna take it with it and I'm gonna look at that look at that oh, look at that now I'm going to put in another piece of chicken. There you go. Okay. And like I said, the most important thing is to make sure this stays hot and it does the, the temperature doesn't drop. And you can start you can start seeing it's crispy and this should be good. So stay tuned.
So there goes my sandwich. I put the cheese. I put some cheese. I put the, the chicken, some uh, letters, and some tom and uh, some pickles. And that's it. And I'm gonna cover this up. Okay. And then at the table, Gilbert will put whatever he wants to, whatever condiment he wants in it. Okay. So this is nice and crunchy. Oh my god. Yeah, we're gonna, let's go to the table. Well, folks, let's go to the table because it looks good. Well, folks, that's it. We're at the table, and this looks delicious. Let me show you how it looks. Let me turn this camera. There you go. There goes the sandwiches. Nice and crispy. Believe me, this is nice and crispy. Look at that. It's got cheese in there. It's got a pickle in there. Plus, he's got a pickle on the side there. And these things are nice and crispy. There's some letters in there. And there. Uh, and there was the other one. This is for me. The fries. This is what it looks like today. And, folks, this is great. Hey, great. I'm telling you. You got it, folks. Fried chicken breast, like a like a Popeye style. Or I hate to see it. I hate to say uh, chick 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 f you. Um, you know, but this is Uncle Jesse's style, Chef Jesse's. So anyway, it looks good. It smells good. It's nice and crispy. Oh my God, I can't. Uh, I put a lot of corn. I put starch in it. I put some baking powder to fluff it up, and it looks good. And I think it's gonna taste good. So anyway, folks, with that said. Uh, tomorrow's Friday. I go see my parents in my own neighborhood, and I'll see you guys Saturday with what I don't know what it is uh, But I have a couple days to think about it, right? So I see you guys love you guys stay safe wear your mask all that good stuff You guys are adults do the right thing, and I love you guys from the bottom of my heart I'll see you guys on Saturday